everyone. Good evening. On Monday evening, it's been a good day. Uh, took a nice long walk. And of course, when you walk with a, with a child, they ask questions. We had a wonderful conversation, Jesse and I, talking about how God created trees that give us oxygen and take out the carbon dioxide and what those two things are, how our life depends on the green things, on trees. And so we talked about whatever he wants to talk about, but that's really a wonderful thing. We walked across the hills uh, behind a place called Crystal Ridge and uh, overlooked his school, Richard Canyon Elementary. It was a, um, for us, a very relaxing time, almost, almost six miles, which is a long way for little legs, but it's a long way for older legs too. <laughs> anyway, uh, tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, which as we know is more of an American celebration in the United States than it is uh, for, for Mexico. However, we do celebrate Cinco de Mayo, we appreciate it. We remember that uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe is the patroness of this great nation of ours, of all of the Americas. And we thank God for the gift of her uh, presence yeah, in our lives. The example that she has been for the church and for everything that we do. So uh, in our house, we have two or three different uh, statues of Mary and we're able to, um, I put some flowers, some fresh flowers next to, next to her in memory of her. And so, um, I'm going to begin this evening um, with a prayer for, for Mary, uh, and then we'll enter into our evening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit of Santo. Amen. Dios te salve, Maria. Eres eres de casa. El Señor es contigo. Bendito tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto y tu vientre, Jesús, Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. at the right spot. Our first song, Psalm 136. I moved something just in case I lost everything. Here we are. So 136, whoever is in Christ is a new creature. Alleluia. Praise God by recalling his marvelous deeds. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his love endures forever. Who alone has wrought marvelous works, for his love endures forever. Whose wisdom it was made the skies, for his love endures forever. Who fixed the earth firmly on the seas, for his love endures forever. It was he who made the great lights, for his love endures forever. The sun to rule the day, for his love endures forever. The moon and the stars in the night, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Whoever is in Christ is a new creature. Hallelujah. Let us love God for he has first loved us. Hallelujah. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his love endures forever. He brought Israel out from their midst, for his love endures forever. Arm outstretched with power in his hand, for his love endures forever. He divided the Red Sea in two, for his love endures forever. He made Israel pass through the midst, for his love endures forever. He flung Pharaoh and his force in the sea, for his love endures forever. Through the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. 
nations in their greatness he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, for his love endures forever. Sihon, or Sion, king of the Amorites, for his love endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his love endures forever. Let Israel inherit his land, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes, for his love endures forever. He gives food to all living things, for his love endures forever. The God of heaven give thanks, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, remember our lowliness and have mercy. Once you gave our fathers a foreign land to inherit, free us today from sin, and give us a share in your inheritance. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Alleluia. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God, God chose us in him. Before the world be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons and daughters through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might pray, praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was preached to decree in Christ. A plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Alleluia. And from Hebrews. We have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, minister of the sanctuary, and of that true tabernacle, set up not by man, but by the Lord. Now every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. A response, sorry. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. I have other sheep that do not belong to this flock. These also I must lead. They will hear my voice. And there will be one fold and one shepherd. Hallelujah. And then the canticle of Mary from Luke. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have other sheep that do not belong to this flock. These also I must lead. They will hear my voice, and there will be one fold and one shepherd. Hallelujah. Now we pray our intercessions. Let us pray to Christ the Lord, who bathed the world in glory through his resurrection. With joyful hearts, let us say, 
Christ our life, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, who walked with your disciples on the way, be with your church on its pilgrimage through life. Christ our life, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you walk with your disciples on the way. Be with your church on its pilgrimage through life. Do not, do not be slow to believe, but be ready to proclaim you as victor over death. Christ our life, hear our prayer. Look with kindness on those who do not recognize your presence. Reveal yourself to them so that they may welcome you as Savior. Christ our life, hear our prayer. With the cross you have brought reconciliation to humanity in your body. Grant unity and peace to all nations. Christ our life, hear our prayer. Judge of the living and of the dead. Forgive the sins of the faithful departed. Christ our life, hear our prayer. And we pray today for all those who are struggling, all those who are filled with doubt. That through us and through people that they may know, and through the Lord's graces, they may come to know the Lord is truly present and with them. So we pray in the words that our Savior gave us. And this evening I'm going to pray in Spanish. As best as I can. Padre nuestro, este es en cielo, en cielo. Santificado sea tu nombre. Venga tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestra pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No los dejas caer en tentación y libranos del mal. Amén. Heavenly Father, through the obedience of Jesus, your servant and your son, you raised a fallen world. Free us from our sin. Bring us to the joy that lasts forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. So, my friends, in another another day. Tomorrow I'll be on, I'll be on the phone, on Zoom, with several meetings. I pray that each of you is able to see each day as an opportunity to connect with God. Uh, through the eyes of my great grandson, I was able to to walk today to talk about trees and flowers and birds, and talk about the roadrunner we saw and the lizards and all the other creatures that we see out there, and how everything is interconnected. And answering the questions of a seven-year-old, almost eight, it makes me reconnect with the wonders of God's creation. So I ask you, open your eyes and your heart, and be still, look around you, and see God's creation. May Almighty God bless you this evening, grant you a peaceful night, a night of rest, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.